Hi, we're back at it again, uh, here to answer some of your most asked questions. And today we're gonna talk about progesterone. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm the CEO and founder of Biolabs Pro. We're one of the world's leading topical health product companies and a two-time Inc. 5000 company. Over the last six years, we've gotten a lot of questions about topical health products and specifically hormone related questions, um, like questions that we're gonna answer today about progesterone. Now, if you do me a favor and like and subscribe to the video, uh, that helps encourage us to continue to make more videos just like this. And hopefully we will provide a lot of value for you here today. So let's jump on in. First question about progesterone from Elizabeth. So Elizabeth asks, how do I improve my progesterone levels? So what I would answer to that is first and foremost, you need to know that you need to improve your progesterone levels. So if, you're, if you've already taken an at-home test kit, if you've already talked to a doctor, naturopathic physician, endocrinologist, somebody who has advised you to improve your progesterone levels, then I would say my number one recommendation would be to take a topical progesterone cream similar to those here uh, on the table. Uh, topical is the best way to go in my opinion. Uh, I'm not a big fan of pellets under the skin, uh, not a big fan of uh, progesterone orally, unless of course you've been prescribed either one of those. But for an over-the-counter solution, progesterone in topical form has been sold uh, and used by women just like you for many, many years. So again, if you just read some article somewhere and you think you need progesterone, I would advise against buying progesterone until you really know. And so some symptoms that might indicate you need progesterone are irregular periods, uh, infertility, poor sleep, migraines, mood changes, things like that. Some other symptoms of menopause if you're, if you're at the menopause age, so pre in menopause or post menopause, you know, if, if you have symptoms related to menopause or some of the ones I just mentioned, that could be low progesterone. So get your levels tested. Uh, we're not your doctor. We don't want to give you medical advice, but we do uh, encourage everybody just get your levels tested and see if you in fact need it. If you do, there are over the counter great solutions for you. Topically is what we prefer uh, and what we recommend. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was a great question. Annie asks, I heard progesterone can help with fertility. Is this true? And if so, any advice on how, on how to start supplementing with progesterone? So progesterone is actually sometimes called the pregnancy hormone. Uh, it plays a very important role in a woman getting and maintaining a pregnancy. So uh, it helps in fertility. It actually gets the egg and the, or the uterus ready to accept and maintain a fertilized egg. So when a woman is going through her cycle, progesterone levels increase. Uh, if she gets pregnant, then progesterone levels actually persist. If the egg is not fertilized, then progesterone levels plummet uh, and the menstruation begins. So it's very important to realize that progesterone does have a vital role to play when it comes to fertility. So Annie, the second part of your question is how do I supplement with progesterone? Most women actually will see uh, your naturopathic physician or your doctor and, and will ask for a prescription, but there are plenty of over-the-counter ways to supplement with progesterone, uh, particularly topical progesterone that you can buy online uh, is a perfectly legal and acceptable way to supplement with progesterone. Just make sure you need it first. Um, make sure you get your levels tested. Make sure you've spoken with your healthcare professional. We're not doctors and can't offer you medical advice. Thank you so much, Annie. We'll move on to the next question. Lucy asks, I'm already using your estrogen cream and I need to know if I can take progesterone at the same time. Are there any concerns that I need to know about before I use multiple of your products at the same time? Um, so first and foremost, if your estrogen levels are high, uh, you may need to take progesterone to balance out the estrogen. In this case, it looks like Lucy is already taking an estrogen cream, probably to fight symptoms of menopause. So that's usually what estrogen and progesterone supplements do, is they will help you fight off symptoms of menopause. So fatigue, um, uh, loss of libido, night sweats, hot flashes, those sorts of things. So if you're already on estrogen, estrogen is perfectly acceptable and a great thing to add progesterone to. We just always recommend to make sure 
that you've spoken to a healthcare professional, make sure you need it before you just go on it. But they're very safe to take together. They're very often prescribed together. So there's no worries there whatsoever. So in other research that you may do online, it talks about uh, some prescriptions actually add estrogen to a progesterone prescription to help protect the, uh, I think it's protect from uterine cancer. Now, we don't think any bioidentical hormone replacement product has any risk for cancer whatsoever. So when you read those articles, that's talking mostly about synthetic prescribed um, hormones, you know, derived in a lab, not natural bioidentical hormones like uh, BioLabs Pro Estrogen Cream or Progesterone Cream. So Lucy, that was a great question. Thank you very much. Susan asks, Hello BioLabs Pro, are progesterone creams safe to use in your late 60s and early 70s? It's a really good question because progesterone is often referred to as a fertility product or something to help fight symptoms of menopause. Um, so I must say, as men and women age, progesterone levels do decrease and may result in headaches, mood changes, and for women, irregular menstrual cycles. But clearly, if you are over the age of you know, having your menstrual cycle, if, if you're past your menopause years, uh, there are still potential menopause symptoms you know, in those post years that you could be facing. So progesterone is great for that. But the really good thing, I think, for somebody at, at, at that kind of age range is progesterone actually helps with energy, helps with bone density, helps with uh, just kind of the brain fog or helps with focus, like cognitive focus. So those are great, great benefits that a lot of people in that age range are kind of looking for. So those are what I would consider like anti-aging benefits of progesterone at that stage of your life. Susan, that was a wonderful question. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And now for anybody listening to this video, uh, if you want to get more research, if you want to understand more about progesterone, check out BioLabs Pro's website. We have tons of articles on the matter. Uh, you could go to our uh, product pages and read some about the products that we sell, the, pro the progesterone that we sell, but also talk to your physician. So we encourage everybody to do that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. We'll have somebody reach out to you right away. We'll answer as many questions as we possibly can. And we thank you for watching.